Hello there, this is Edgar from Aurora Auto Pros. Uh, today I'm going to show you what entails doing an air conditioning inspection. Some of you might wondering, what is it happen when you do the inspection for the air conditioning? Well, there's a few steps that we have to take. Let me show you what those are. Well, first of all, uh, this vehicle is here because the customers say that the temperature coming out of the vent is not cold enough when he's driving. So, I have this uh, thermometer here. So, you see there, I have that thermometer inside the vents. So, that way I can read the ambient temperature in the temperature of the air coming out of the vent. So, the ambient temperature is important on the air conditioning because the hotter it is, the, 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 the air conditioning is going to perform differently. So now the 44.8 that you see there is the temperature coming out of the air, the temperature of the air coming out of the vents, which it seems to me okay, right? So but why is it that the customer is saying that the temperature is not cold enough? Well, there's a couple of things that we also need to check. So like you see here, we connect the machine to the air conditioning system, and it is important for us to read those pressures, okay? So that's a high pressure, it says it is 200, which is based on the ambient temperature at 86 degrees, pretty much, that's normal. And then we have the low pressure, that it is at 35, same thing. At the ambient temperature that we have, it is normal. So we still don't know why is it that the customer is experiencing a low efficiency to the air temperature. So we're gonna find out and we'll let you know. All right guys, so after doing the inspection and uh, finding out that the uh, amount of Freon inside the uh, AC system was a little bit low, we were able to get about six degrees lower than how it was before. So, and again, pressure is pretty much still the same, but really good but with the right amount of Freon in the system. So another thing that we did is that there are some valves that goes here and there that they are called the Schrader valves. So those were leaking just a little bit and we replaced both. And that's all this car needed in order to get this air conditioning to work and, uh, 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 and perform at this level. Like you see, we got about uh, five, six degree uh, colder, and that's gonna be enough for the customer to be comfortable. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention is that in order to get a better airflow through the vents, one thing that we found here behind the glow box is the cabin air filter. The cabin air filter was restricting some of the air going through the vent as well. Like you see there, there's leaves that are coming out of it and that is nasty so that also is going to play a role on how good your air conditioning is working so very important to replace the cabin air filter well thanks for watching until next time